there were lots of games that your ancestors were playing across that immense span of time many, many, you know, lizard games and tree dweller games and, 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 and what, and, and crustacean games, you know, that huge set of games and you're adapted to win across those games, all of them and that's built into you, man, that's, that's your central human nature, that's what makes you social and it's not some mere cultural construct, quite the contrary, it's, it's so deeply embedded in you, it's what you are alright, so, well, this is a story, it's a game too, that's another way of thinking about it, you know, well, like, that's a monopoly game well, what's the frame? well, that's the rules of the game, and are they, why do you accept them? well, it's kind of arbitrary, right? it's like, that happens to be the rules, hockey has different rules basketball has different rules, but what they share is that they have rules okay, so there's a frame, that's the rules, and then within the frame there's a goal and the goal is whatever the rules dictate you know, there's usually, it's usually the construction of a hierarchy of success within a frame and so that's what you play, and so you play Monopoly and it's like, well, we'll accept the rules, that's the social contract and then we'll each try to win, and that'll be fun we, we find that amusing, and if you lose what do you say? well, you say, well, there's always another game and so that's great, so if you have that attitude and, and you play fair, then it doesn't matter that much that you, whether you win or lose, although you still want to try to win, because otherwise you're not a good player but you accept defeat gracefully because you can play again and so, and you'll win some and you'll lose some, and so that's not so bad, you know, and even if you lose, well, maybe you learn something and and you're doing a lot more than one thing while you're playing Monopoly, you know, you're having a conversation and learning how to interact with people and learning how to regulate your emotions and so, even if you lose, if you have any sense, you win and if your kids have any sense, they know that and so, that way you buffer them against defeat it's like, yeah, yeah, you know, next time, it's like, it's okay and you should try, but it's okay and, and that's, that's, that's useful information for people to know so, alright, so you're always in one of these little frameworks and there's just no getting out of it so, and that's because, you know, at any given moment this is like, it's like field theory, there used to be psychological theories that talked about the field of human experience something like that, and this is kind of what that is, this is a field and basically what happens is you parse out a little part of the world, say and so a, 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 an amount you can handle so let's say it has some duration, you're not aiming at something 50 years in the future it's because how the hell are you going to do that? You, there's too many variables, you know so you're aiming at some handleable amount of time and you posit a goal in there and you plot your route and then that tells you what's up and tells you what's down because up moves you towards the goal and down moves you away from the goal and that sets up your motivational framework so that you have something worth attaining you know, that's a really interesting thing to know too, it's like why have a goal? well, it's easy, no goal, no positive emotion because you experience positive emotion by noticing that you're moving towards a goal and so if you don't have a, have a goal, well, you can't have any positive emotion so, you better have a goal and so, you might say, well, what should the goal be? well, we could start by saying, well, any goal is better than none and then we might say, well, it should be a goal that other people will let you pursue, because otherwise it's going to be kind of difficult and maybe they'll be even happy to help you pursue it, that would even be better and maybe it's a goal that would enable you to learn how to pursue other goals while you pursue that goal boy, that would really be good and so you can see that your goal is parameterized but that doesn't mean that any old goal works it means there's some goals that work nicely and some not so nicely there are playable games and non-playable games that's a good way of thinking about it and you want to have a playable game, and there's a lot of them lawyer, plumber, you know, actor, whatever they're, they're playable games and, and it's not obvious which one's better, but it's certainly obvious which ones are sustainable and which ones are worse and so there's a set of playable games, and you need to extract from that set of playable games a game that suits you and that would be partly due to your temperament, you know, because extroverted people want to play an extroverted game and highly neurotic people want to play a safe game, and agreeable people want to play a generous game and disagreeable people want to play a game that's highly competitive so they can win, and you know, fine but they're all within the realm of playable games 
and that means they're socially acceptable as well and so that means it isn't just arbitrary it isn't just relative what you decide to do it's heavily parameterized there's only a, there's a set of playable games and it's large the set is large but it, it there are commonalities within it and that's why there are commonalities that's why morality has a common basis fundamentally and so that's partly what we're trying to investigate is like what's up what does up mean what does it mean is there such a thing now one thing to remember is that if you don't erect a hierarchical structure with, a, with something to aim at you got no positive motivation because you experience positive motivation in relationship to a goal not from attaining the goal that's satisfaction and besides it's fleeting you know perfectly well you graduate from university poof next day you have a problem which is what do you do next and that's a that's a tough problem it's not like you've solved your problems by winning that game you just introduced the problem of having to introduce another game so it's unreliable as a source of positive emotion but what's reliable is you set a goal and you try to attain it and then that gives your life that literally provides your life with meaning that's what meaning is now it's more than that but that's that's what it is and so then you might ask yourself well what's a really good goal well that's what we're trying to figure out what's a really good goal and now 